What is it? Uh, banana pancakes and then the maple syrup from New England that Amy and Sue brought me. The um, pancakes are actually made with bananas. Oh my so gosh. So it's an actual banana pancake. Tell yeah, me when. Just a little. I don't know. Is it like that? Yep, that's good. Okay. Thank you. That's a nice way to start out the morning. All made with love. All nuts on Yeah. Thank you. There's the squirm caramel chips in there. Oh, in in the pancake? Yeah, so it's, it's banana caramel. Oh, yum. Oh, I can smell it. It smells good. Yeah. It does oh, smell good. Oh, shut my door. It's Holy moly. the flavor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great Well, as you guys all know that we've had this fifth wheel for about a year now. It's time to upgrade the power system. What I do have is uh, two 6-volt AGM batteries, 200 amp hours each. And they do a pretty daggone good job. But there's always room for more, and it's time to upgrade. Well, I had to come inside. It's a bit windy out there, as you probably all could see. Um, now I'm surrounded by power. So what we have in here are four lithium ion batteries, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hours with 100 amp BMS. And they're provided by Power Queen. And I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. And thank you for these batteries. Let's, let's get inside and have a look and see what we got. Been really waiting to do an upgrade on the rig. Uh, the batteries outside have uh, done really well, you know. Typically, more power is better. Right on the top, we have inside, this is a uh, service card. And what this is about, you want to fill out when you get them, send it in, and that's for your warranty. These batteries do have a five-year limited warranty on them. And also inside is an instruction manual. And it gives you a lot more information about these batteries. And it's actually... Uh, very well printed out. Tells you how to hook them up in parallel. Tells you if you want to hook them up in series, whatever you want to um, do with them. Uh, the listings on the power, bunch of good information. Definitely read before you install. Also, it comes with a little packet and these are the bolts that connect the batteries to your wires. So they give you a set of four is what they do. There's your uh, post and then it has a nice little protector that can go on that. Oh, kidding, look at this. That big old battery, less than 23 pounds. Those batteries outside, 70 pounds a piece. Look at that. Oh, 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 wait, I'm getting a workout here. Maybe I need four of them. Anyways, Terry and I are really excited to get these things installed. Um, even though that's been working pretty well, it'd be nice to just go through some of these nights like it's been out here cold and having this heater run and run and run and know, wham, I'm in the morning. I still got lots of power. So what we're going to do is get ready to install them. Not today, because it's terrible outside. I just might. Let me see. I'm so excited about the weight of these things. They're just beautiful. Thank you, Power Queen. I'm looking forward to getting these puppies in my rig. Okay, also what we received is a charging system. A 20 amp, 14.6 volt charging system. So what I can do is just plug this into my generator. If for some reason I'm really low on power and this sucker will uh, get my batteries all charged back up. Ooh, sweet looking. The instruction manual, always wise to read these, even though most of us guys don't, but we need to be wiser and read these. All right, and that's some heavy duty cables there. Excited. This just plugs in here. And of course, uh, I'll be showing you how this all works and goes together uh, coming up soon. Again, I just want to thank Power Queen for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, use their product. Oh, and another thing I do like about Power Queen is they have three warehouses that are located in the United States. One in California, one in Texas, and one in Georgia. And also, right now, Power Queen has some uh, sales going on. And so if lithium batteries are in your future, now's the time to check them out. So go to the description below, down there, and have a look, see what they got going on. And I'm looking forward to working with them in the future also. All right, guys, now it's time for me and Terry to get outside and get some of our other projects going on. So let's go. It's windy out here today. Scotty was out there showing you guys what he was going to be doing with the Power Queen batteries. I am out there working on my garden. So 
Aja has given Scotty and I a little area here. Uh, we'll show you guys more of that later. But right now we are tilling up, I probably have dirt in my hair actually. We're tilling up a piece of area because we've got to get our onions in today. And it's, uh, it's wicked cold and windy out there. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to grow some garlic. Uh, I've got some red onions. And I think those are just a plain white onion, sweet onions, and some shallots. We'll see if they go good. Uh, I have not gardened in a very long time. It's probably been, oh, 10 years since I've done any kind of gardening. So we'll see. Aja says this is the time to get these in out here. We've had uh, a little bit of frost, but the ground has not froze yet. So we're hoping that it's uh, okay to put them in now. And uh, hopefully we'll have some onions and some uh, garlic and shallots next year. All right, so like I said, it's super windy out here, so excuse the uh, wind noise. Scotty's using the auger to just break up the dirt a little bit with some holes. I'm going along and I'm uh, using this hand uh, rototiller, which is not the easiest thing, but it will do the trick. So right now we're just working on the onion and garlic area here. With some digging. Next year, our trailer is not going to be here. Lynn and Jerry just showed up. Uh, Lynn and Jerry have the channel uh, JC Stories. Go check him out. He tells the greatest stories. Then next season, when we come out with Aja, we'll, we'll plant some more things. Scotty's planning on putting a little building right here. We're going to be parked over here where the truck is and have some area over there. And then this whole area here will hopefully be a garden. Doesn't mean that we're not going to travel, but we're going to we're going to do a little homesteading with Aja. with that kind of stuff just unplug it or take the battery out yeah good thinking honey all right there you got it yeah, that's gonna be a nice little size uh onion patch here with Aja's help Scotty's help my help we uh got a nice little square we're gonna leave the weeds and in there a, uh, uh, the grass because uh, Aja says ground. it mulches down into the ground then we've got some manure uh, Grow King, <laughs> Grow King stew, Steer Manure, and we're going to uh, kind of amend the beds just with a couple bags, and then the rest we're just going to put the bulbs in and lay it over top, and then it will, as it rains, it will leach into the beds. Now that's how Aja's been doing it, so that's what we're going to do. I've never done a garden where I left the weeds in, though. I, uh, Usually we'll have very clean dirt and then bring dirt in and so this will be interesting It seems like a lot of weeding to me that will be going on, but we'll see she says it's not so we'll we'll see it I know it's not big, but it's a start 
What you think, Belle? Huh? What you think? Gonna come eat some onions with Auntie? No, those are bad you for two, you. Two or three? Yeah, I would say three. Okay. I think we that's have nine, so that makes sense. Yeah. Now, yep. I have a question though, and I'm not sure. I might have to look this up. Is that gonna be too hot to blend into that and then put bulbs directly into it? Oh, um, hot. I would, well, manure is hot, I think, well, isn't no, it? it's going to mulch down. Yeah, I know that, and, and but... And diluted and mixed in. It'll be... Okay. I would think it'll be okay. Oh, no, mo no, no, Belle, Belle, no, no. <laughs> she wants to it. Belle wants to eat it. Uh, <laughs> no yeah. cow manure. Thank you, Dave. Now, there's a tree that needs to be... This is what I absolutely love about uh, our group, is but that no. we all help, uh, and we all benefit... I'm sure Dave's going to be over here picking some onions next year. I mean, we just all share and we all help each other. It's just, it's a great group of friends. Maybe two bags would be plenty to mulch in. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Oh, it smells like fresh freaking lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Those cows weren't eating lemon. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd take a third and kind of just got it. Bella, no, no. You know? <laughs> Bella likes oh. it. Well, let me hit it with a little wacky tacky thing and let's see what happens. Okay. Then, uh, we can put one on top of that. I'm about done using the rototiller. I I have a hard time with that with my neck and my Or I back, guess one so. more might be better. And then, yeah, I, I say one more. I uh, could probably run the rototiller now back and forth. It's a right. lot more broke up. I mean, I broke it up the first go yeah. round. Aja um, used the big uh, fork, broke it up even more. There's a okay. I took the battery out because I got a big hard potato stuck in there. <laughs> Was non edible. <laughs> All right. And I'll tell, tell Dave, you what, Dave's going to do it for me. She had nice. the rock in there. And then uh, I thought you were going to wait on the third one. Uh, Build us in and then put the third one on top? Oh, yeah, that's right. That well, we fun. have nine of them. We have. Uh, Nine. seven more to go. Uh, Bella's really... Bella, Bella, no. <laughs> Pumpkin's in the house. She, uh, it's way too cold and i am got too much going on. I can't watch her and, uh, I get distracted and she might wander off, so. She's nice and warm in the house. Once we went on the road, I didn't think we'd ever really garden again. And don't worry, this doesn't mean that we're uh, not going to be traveling a little bit. But with the gas prices and the food prices, uh, it just makes sense. Aja offered this little, well, quite a big area for us. So she's pretty much uh, said from the other side of this little driveway here, she said that's our driveway now. Goes right over to these two... Uh, trees over to here and then all the way back to the other road there I don't know if I'll have a garden that big <laughs> it's an awful big garden looking good alright so you have uh, tilled and double dug and amended the bed so now what you need to do is just plant your bulbs and for your mulch it's, you're going to use the um, cow manure gonna slowly break down it's already broke down because it's come, it comes in bags but not all the way so it will break down more through the winter and then in spring your bulbs should come up and then you harvest them in summer we'll have lots of onions hopefully to how many share onions did you get? a lot like how many <laughs> uh, where are they like I already showed them 100, 100 plus. oh let's see here and the final, the final bed thing is you rake it upside down. Well, we got garlic and we got uh, three of those. But Aja was saying we break them up into the bulbs. Yeah. Did you show Dave's technique of raking upside down? Do you put the rake oh, and then you times up? Uh -huh. And you rake it like that. He's some special kind of guy. <laughs> you wait until you see the difference how this grows up. Yeah, it's going to go up. Awesome. All because Dave <laughs> used the rake the wrong down. Raking technique. Yeah, none of these rocks. <laughs> matter yeah <laughs> I'm not really smart enough that when you're laying side you put also, the green side for, uh, <laughs> for like uh, bulb plants you, you don't want a lot of rocks you want to try yeah. to get as many rocks out 
Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Cause there's a lot of Throw that the garden or a hoogie berry here. <laughs> First time I ever did bolts. <laughs> I, I planted them upside down. Years and years ago, like 30 years ago. Yeah, go grab the other bags of other stuff. Here. All right. Um, here, you I know. think right in this section, I'm going to put some herbs this next season. And then my green onions will go in front. So I think we'll go ahead and do shallots right here since there's only five. So why don't you do one, two, three, four, and five in the, one in the center. There we go. Pretty. All right. There we go. And plant on the right side up. Trial and error, trial and error. That's all I can say. Oh, I should add some gloves on. You know how that is, guys, when you, you're gardening and then all of a sudden you take your gloves off and you forget. All right all planted we're gonna pray about this because <laughs> it's gonna be on our daily prayer list <laughs> most definitely all right uh ed said ed was just over here and ed said that he would keep an eye on things i think we're gonna maybe try to put a little fence up before we leave but i'm not sure if that's gonna happen we're gonna try All right, so it's all done. It's all covered and hopefully we'll get something this next season. <laughs>